Okay, so who wants to look at calcium fluoride? Um, if you're watching the video, I guess you do. So let's draw, let's draw a cube. It's a cubic uh, unit cell, cubic symmetry. So we'll start with that. <clears throat> Give it some uh, perspective, some depth here. And uh, there we go. All right. So trying out some new software here. And okay. So here's calcium fluoride. Well, this is not calcium fluoride yet. This is a box. It's a cube. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to position some anions here, uh, as I like to do. And I usually find that's an easy way to uh, visualize the structure first. So I'm, I'm putting the anions in the corner positions, okay, in the corner positions. <clears throat> and then calcium fluoride is, um, it's, so this is, CaF2, calcium fluoride, it's um, got a, um, a simple cubic arrangement of anions. Okay, so we need to draw the anions in a simple cubic arrangement. <clears throat> um, trouble is, you can see that the, the ratio between cation to anion is 1 to 2. So if we, if we were just to proceed like this, with a simple cubic um, lattice with you know eight corners, and position a cation in the middle of that, we'd have a one-to-one -one ratio. We'd have one cation in the center, and one anion from the eight corners, and with one eighth each. So we, we can we can see um, hopefully that uh, we have to proceed a little bit um, differently with this. And so what we do the customary way to approach this is to say, all right, well, let's actually consider um, a slightly larger unit cell. Um, now I'm leaving the cube the same size, but you'll uh, hopefully appreciate that what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw more uh, atoms than uh, we would do for some of the other crystal structures. So what I've done is I've just broken this down into eight little uh, subcubes, okay, eight subcubes, that's not a formal term, it's just what I like to call it, subcubes, that make up the entire unit cell. And then what we're going to do is we're going to position an anion at the corner of each of these subcubes. Okay, so we've still got a simple cubic lattice of anions, but, um, there we go. Okay, and I'm, I'm just, I'm actually not drawing the um, the hidden atoms at this point, okay? So I'll just write that in over here so you, you can appreciate that. Hidden anions not drawn because, you know, I, if you haven't noticed, I'm not a professional artist, so it would become extremely messy if I tried to do that. Um, so I've just drawn the ones on the exposed faces, but you, you can see that it's a simple cubic lattice, or I hope you can. Now we need to position then the um, the, the cations, and these are going to go into the simple cubic sites, but they can only fill half of them because it has to be twice as many anions. So if there's eight little subcubes, that means we have to have four subcubes um, with occupied interstitial sites occupied sites, simple cubic sites. And so we could pick, well, we can't just pick any four of them actually because the cations um, must be, um, you know, they've got, well, they're all, they've got their cations, they get the same charge and so they'll space each other out spatially uh, as far apart as possible to reduce the charge repulsion. So cations must be spaced out so um, you know as far as possible so for example you wouldn't find that just the eight subcubes at the top are occupied and the eight were empty that wouldn't make a lot of sense in three space and three dimensions because they'd be you'd have like charges that are quite close together so if you occupied say this site here in the back top left well maybe you'd occupy the front top right and that, that would be spaced apart as far as possible, they wouldn't be, you know, immediately next to one another. They'd be in the diagonal subcube. And if you repeated that diagonal filling of interstitial sites, 
in three dimensions, well, that's in fact the in fact what we find in calcium fluorite uh, as far as uh, possible. Okay, as as far as that's what it's going to write as possible. Okay, so here we go. Let's let's um let's look at one of these subcubes. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to for this little subcube here only, front bottom um, left, I'm going to actually um, draw it in, um, and the reason that I'm going to do that is just to make it a little bit more obvious where this um, uh, these these anions uh, or sorry cations exist. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually I am actually going to draw in the anions because this is these are the hidden ones now. Right, that I didn't draw earlier. They're they're within this unit cell completely. Um, this is on that face, that left face center position. This is the left bottom edge position here. This is the bottom face centered position. Okay, um, this is the center of the entire uh, unit cell. And so then the interstitial site resides right in the very center of that cube the very center of that little uh, subcube cube okay and I like to draw in the direction of contact often with little uh, yellow lines and you can see then that that cation is touching eight nearest neighbor anions okay and the, the final little you know, piece of the puzzle is, well, if that's where, um, if that's where uh, this uh, this cation is, you know, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of shade in this front face here of that cube to show you that that has an occupied interstitial site. Well, then this this interstitial site over here in the top. Um, front right would be occupied, as would this in the back bottom right, and the top back left. So they're alternating always across the diagonal in all three dimensions. And those are the occupied interstitial sites. Okay. Occupied simple cubic sites. And you can see that that's, it's only four of them, right? Only four of them are filled. And that's the, um, <clears throat> that is, in fact, the calcium fluorite crystal structure. So now that you know where they reside, I could draw these little dots in, um, and hopefully you realize where that cation exists um, in three dimensions by my shading of the uh, exposed faces there. All right, well, I hope that, um, that helps you to understand the calcium fluorite uh, crystal structure.